All right, guys, this is week three of the Georgia hunting season. Uh, we're gonna do a little something a little different today. I'm just uh, getting to the hunting spot, spraying down. And uh, what we're gonna do today, this is Thursday. I made a deal with my wife. She has something to do on Saturday, so I gotta leave early on Saturday. But I told her when I get out of work, I'm going straight to the hunt camp on Thursday then, if that's okay. And she said, okay, yeah, so I'm here on Thursday, and which is a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, Hurricane Zeta just went through, not even about two hours ago, but it doesn't look like it did much here uh, in Sparta, Georgia. So uh, just the wind is up a little bit. And uh, like I said, everything's look like it's about dry, but I know it rained just some. I, I'm pretty sure it rained some here, but we're going to go on the left side of my food plot what we've been hunting down in that bottom for the last two weeks was on the right side uh, I'm gonna change up uh, because of two things I got two deers that I'm hunting I got a nice 10 pointer and I got a nice 8 pointer I seen the, the 10 pointer on my camera I checked them last week uh, going down in the, what I call the uh, front door to the bedding area and he was going across that uh that little trail that goes down in there he was going to cross it following those and and i noticed a lot of those deer cross it instead of just going into the bedding area they walk right in front of it so i'm gonna change up and i'm gonna go to the left side uh, i haven't been in there probably about two years or so so i really don't have a tree or anything that i'm gonna get up in I'm just going to beep up around in there and uh, hopefully we can uh, locate us a decent tree and find some signs of uh, where those deers are coming in and out. So hopefully that, that'll surprise him, either that 8 or that 10. I got a picture of that 10 I'll show you here. And I'll try to put something up before I can show you what I'm talking about on different sides of my food plot. Because uh, like I said, I got a right and a left. And the back side of the food plot is where the bedding area is. So, uh, like I said, it's probably 11.30 right now. And I'm just going to try to get in there and see if we can hunt the rest of the day. Uh, like I said, nobody should be in the woods, so they shouldn't feel too threatened. So hopefully we can sneak up on them and uh, have us a nice deer. So. Uh, let me get all my stuff together and we'll head that way. And right now it's, I guess, 75 degrees. So by the time I get where I'm going with all the pack I got to pack in, I'm probably sweating like a mad dog. But, you know, that is how you hunt down here in Georgia. Like I said, it don't normally get cold around the end of November, December. But uh, And another thing, today is the 29th of October. Around this time last year, this is when I killed that uh, big buck I killed last year. And I see m m most of the rutting activity to me is at the end of this month. So that's why I'm trying to get here. Why there's nobody around. Uh, like I said, the wind probably help us walk in. Uh, but it's going to hurt us from seeing or uh, hearing the deers run around. So I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get to hunting. All right, if we kept going down that way, we'll go to the front door of the bedding area. I'm going to cut across right here in these little small trees here because I don't want to get too close down. I want to go down and come back up behind it and on the back side of these, these trees here. Normally, they do some scraping and rubbing in here. I'm gonna run into every spider web there is, I bet you. That look like some Bigfoot stuff there. You see all them trees stacked up in the tripod? Hope Bigfoot is not down here.
See, now I'm on the other side of those trees. Now I can head that way. Like I said, it's normally a lot of deer sign on this side over here. It's turkeys, deers. Four, five, six, seven. That's seven deers I just seen run up that hill. God almighty. Seven deers and turkeys want to go on the other side of the creek there. So I'm going to push in some more because I want to be close as I can to that bedding area without being really right on top of it. It's right in here where I want to be. But it's a ridge right there. Look like I can drop over, but let's go see what's on the other side of this ridge here. See if it's opened up over there. But that looks good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks kind of thick over there. I think my best bet is stay out here in the open where I can see. Hopefully they can, they'll come out to one or two of these acorn trees over here. I think I'm gonna get up in this tree right here. That way I can see this whole side of this ridge and the other side over there too. And I can see a little bit behind me here because I, I guarantee you them deer's gonna come up behind me. But I'm gonna face this way just to give me something to look at. And plus, it's got a couple of little trees around it it might hide me. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I might have to clean up some of them limbs getting out the way going up, but I could probably get up a good little bit. So let me get set up. All right, guys, we finally got set up in this tree. Uh, it looks like I can see pretty good around me here. Uh, the only problem if it's that deer comes from behind me, which is the direction my food plot is. I might have a little problem trying to get around without him uh, seeing me, but I don't want to face that way because it's look thick back up in there and I can't really see too far back up in there. But over here, I can see on the other side of the ridge, I can see pretty good off to the left of me here. But uh, I like this setup so far. Um, like I said, we just gonna sit back. I mean, it's, it's 1230 now. We're gonna try to stay in here the rest of the day. Uh, I'm gonna let everything calm down for me getting up in this tree. And I'm gonna start doing some grunts and some bleeps as this tree moves in this wind. I just hope it doesn't rain anymore, which we might get a little drizzle shower or something like that but uh like I said we seen I seen seven well I counted seven tails run off when I was coming in here and probably another ten turkeys uh was on, on the other side of the creek here but uh I knew something was going on over here and when nobody hunting this area so they just probably felt nice and comfortable over here but I'm here now. So hopefully the big boy walks through sometime today or this evening. 
and uh, we can get a decent shot at it. So I'll check back in with you guys uh, here in a little while. I just keep making me want to look back because I think that's where he's going to come from right there. All right, guys, it's 4.30. Haven't seen anything but turkeys. There's been enough turkeys down here on this ridge that enough count at least 15. I don't know if it was the same turkeys going back around in a circle, but there's been a whole bunch of turkeys. But the uh, wind's been up, like blowing mad, you know, I've been moving and moving sideways up here in this tree. But uh, as for deers, I haven't seen anything or heard anything. Uh, like I said, it's so, it was so warm. They probably just bedded down. So uh, I'm looking for them to pick up here. Like I said, it's about 4.30. Uh, the sun go down right at about 7 o'clock. So we still got about another two hours. So. Just wanted to check in, let you guys know I hadn't seen anything, but we still at it. Alright, I guess that's a wrap for the day. Uh, it's about 6.20 right now, so it's getting... A little dark, but by the time I walk out of here and get back to my bike, uh, it'll probably be dark. So I'm gonna pack it up for the day. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming in tomorrow, I'll probably go back to the other spot in the morning. Uh, I hate to keep uh, hunting the same spot uh, for the deers, you know, start patterning you, but I think that's where I need to be right now, you know, hopefully. Like I said, I haven't seen any deers running around to think it's any rut going on, but that's in my head right now that that's going to pop off any time now. So, and that place on the other side over there is where I think I need to be. So, uh, I'll probably go back over there in the morning and uh, try it out over there. So. We'll meet you back over there in the morning. Alright guys, this is the next day. Uh, I moved back down here in the bottom uh, on my favorite tree. And I got here probably about 6.40. It was still dark. And as soon as I got up in the tree and uh, got set up and everything, two deers walked right up under my stand. I don't know if there was uh, smelling this tinks that I put out just before I got up in the tree or what but I couldn't see what they were because it was pitch black dark and uh, so it's done started already this morning so I knew I needed to get back over here uh, but like I said the wind is gusting here and there uh, like I said it was 75 degrees yesterday now it's like 49 degrees this morning and hopefully the deers have moved because all last night that the wind was blowing, I know 35, gusting like 45 miles an hour. Cause I would come outside, look up at the trees, make sure the trees not falling on my, my hunt trailer or nothing like that. <laughs> uh, I was kind of contemplating like leaving and going home just cause the wind was blowing that hard. Uh, but like I said, uh, it's not blowing constantly this morning. Hopefully, it'll calm down. But uh, like I said, we already had two come right by us this morning. Uh, it's a little bit, it's not, not even 8 o'clock. It's like three minutes before 8. And like I said, we're still early in the morning. I'm not going to hang around too long because that Hurricane Zeta came through Atlanta and a lot of people without power and I'm one of them so 
I gotta get home and check on uh, uh, the wife and kid and the refrigerator's not been running for like a day so I gotta get the generator out and that I hadn't started in probably a couple of years and see if I can get it started but uh, I'm gonna probably hang around probably 9, 9.30 something like that uh, and we'll go from there but like I said I'm just gonna see what comes through so we'll check back in with you guys later alright guys I'm gonna get out of here um, it's a little bit after 9 the deers are not doing anything right now maybe it's gonna be a late morning deal uh, I would have thought after the storm last night they'd have been well two of them anyway came up early this morning but and the rutting activity I haven't really seen much of it I mean I've seen a couple of small bucks chase around a couple of does on the food plot yesterday evening when I walked out uh, but other than that uh, I guess we had to pick this up next week and I'm sorry that nothing's went on you know it's not one of those crazy weekends like I had before so but uh, I want one of you guys not one of you guys I want all you guys to do me a favor come here subscribe please if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for you won't miss any of the videos I put out cause what's gonna happen and it's gonna happen sometime here soon so Hopefully we'll be around to enjoy it and be part of it. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. And make sure you get out in the woods and go hunting. Because the next hunt might be a lifetime story. So, guys, we out. Thanks for watching.